Come in. Sir. Sorry to bother you. I mailed the Northwest Territory proposal to Washington as you requested. Also, here's today's early edition. And a Mr. Frederick Billings applied for a manager position this morning. Billings? Thought he was with Northern Pacific. What happened? The details are on page five, but the headlines pretty much give it away. On the threshold of greatness. With the sweat and labor of the first spikes you drive, you'll be launching your first trains and at the same time an era of revolutionary transfer. <laughs> Watch as a nation grows with the help of your iron horses. The people of that nation, if not the whole dang world, are watching and hoping. So don't mess up. in motion. Railroads are emerging from everywhere. For every successful line, there are four bankrupt ones. Take advantage of the momentum you've managed to start, but beware of some of the more sinister deals that big money always seems to bring. And wipe your chin, you got some muck on it. If you thought it was tough back east, wait till you try to connect to the west. You'll need to use every resource available to reach your goal. Men, metal, and money will only get you so far. You'll need the determination of the original Iron Men to make this dream a reality. Wake up! I'm talking to you! I don't know about you whippersnappers these days. <laughs> now, if by some miracle you do make it, There'll be a celebration around the nation the likes we've never seen. Heard there's some valuable ore to be had up in the mountains. You need to make quick work of getting your lines up there to be the primary transport. Some areas are pretty remote and will require you to be as resourceful as possible. The business is there. You just gotta get in there. Now get! I always said, the only thing that puts out more hot air than a pot-bellied steam engine is a pot-bellied politician. <laughs> well, it seems Teddy Roosevelt wants to take a political tour of the Northwest. He wants to cover as much ground as possible. Well, now's your chance to prove your railroad to not only Teddy, but any future leaders. Seems I recall a man by the name of Harry Truman a few years later. Was fond of the whistle stop tour also. <laughs> oh, and I'd advise you to make sure this ride goes well. I've seen Teddy use that big stick when he missed a stop. Six thousand miles of iron rail. Hoo -hoo <laughs> That's what's going to have to be laid to reach across Canada. 
Raising the money in the East is just the beginning to completing this Canadian transcontinental. You'll need to keep your crew supplied and on track as the wilderness of Canada will challenge your every step. Your goal is to see a train pulling up to the shipyard in Vancouver. Good luck, and bring your long johns. In jolly old England, all this industrialization is really putting a cramp on the country. Coal fields are busting with ore needing to reach the cities. Textile mills are finding new markets abroad. See if you can put an end to the quibbling competition and become the dominant line. The margins will be very tight, so be careful of waste and tie your shoe. Linking the cosmopolitan Paris with the exotic Near East is no small task. Glamour and intrigue will all ride on your little old line. But don't get too wrapped up in the luxury yourself. There are dozens of countries, territories, and empires to negotiate your way through. Keep your cool. Diplomacy will take you there in style. In Central Europe, the blast furnaces are heating up. Talk of nationalization brings hope to some and fear to others. So don't assume anything, cause every turn hides a political ambush. The power belongs to the diplomat with the most iron. The German states need your help to see them through troubled times. So get the firebox a burning and set the wheels a turning. And watch your back. From the tranquil agricultural settings in the Bordeaux to the intensifying industrialization in the cities, France's underperforming hodgepodge of rails is a source of economic irritation and national shame. Ironically, France's nationalism cup runneth over. It's national and industrial power that France wants from you and your rail building. While we're here, I think I'll partake of some of that fine cuisine. Where can I get me some of them French fries? Now the Alps, they're a natural barrier between the Mediterranean and Central Europe. Centuries ago, the Romans found the area of the Brenner Pass to be the lowest passage through these peaks. There may be a better way, though. The Alps are unforgiving, but Manage to tame them enough to get your lines through, a bountiful and beautiful passage to the Mediterranean will be yours, and all of Europe will be eternally grateful. Oh, by the way, bring your earmuffs and your mittens. With the Cold War over, it's just a matter of time before a talented individual such as yourself will create order out of chaos and bring the former Warsaw Pact regions new economic life. Among the great many opportunities all around you, there's a bonus for connecting Frankfurt to Moscow. Bring me back a piece of the wall. The Taj Mahal, in most all of India, was long thought to be a British claim. France, however, has seized an opportunity to shift rail rights away in India. You must be very cunning, though. Put your diplomatic and rail-building talents to work and give the Brits a run for their money. Literally. <laughs> your efficiency and resourcefulness is sure to make India look to France for rail transport in the future. So don't slouch. Sit up straight and button your top button. Dynasty after dynasty has ruled these islands. Closed for centuries to outside influences, Japan now wants your help to bring it modern rail. Well, bending ancient traditions, though, is gonna be tough. But by proving yourself the most efficient and frugal, 
you may become the single most dominant rail mogul in Japan. Hard to place that Australia, but business is business, regardless of the location. The long rail across the Nullarbor Plains is ready to go, <laughs> but good luck trying to make any money. The traffic on that single line is going to be atrocious. Be prepared when you do finally hit that plane, because there's no turning back once you're on it. Strange how these quiet hills could hide such chaos. The Chinese Civil War is now over, and the People's Republic wants you to fix up that raggedy rail system of theirs. Crops are going bad in the fields, and the nation's exports are suffering without any good transportation in place. There's not a lot to work with either, so you'll need to be very resourceful. I know you can do it, though and the People's Republic will be most grateful. Years of neglect and mismanagement have left the Australian lines a mess. How do you modernize an outdated rail system without losing the shirt off your back? Huh, that's your problem. <laughs> Good luck. I'm not sure this can be done. The beaches of the Cape of Good Hope Connected to the pyramids outside of Cairo? Huh, it's never been done! The closest anyone came was halfway, and the man died trying. This is gonna be really tough. It's left all before you in ruin. Spanning the African continent with its jungles, and worse, its deserts, will certainly take its toll. To complete this campaign, the beaches of the Cape must be connected to the pyramids of Cairo.